Good morning, girls. So today is May 9th. It's officially my 11th day being a vegan. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I lost another pound. So I am super happy because yesterday or the past couple, I just came back from Disney. Today is uh, Monday and I came back from Disney yesterday and yesterday was Mother's Day. And we went out to eat, I had pasta. Um, in the morning I had like these little cut up potatoes um, that they had like at a breakfast buffet there. And then I had brought my own oatmeal. And then I had um, a salad as well as a pasta. Um, what else did I eat? That's what I really ate. And I went to the gym last night after um, the Mother's Day dinner. But, um, and I had fruit throughout the day. So, I'm super happy. Um, I came back from a vacation and I actually lost one pound. Who could ever say that? Not me, guys. Good to start the morning with. It tastes super yummy. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I saw a lot of um, vegan what I eat in a day videos start off their video with this and I was like whatever I'll try it, super yummy. Better than regular water, it's good to start off the day with water always to wake up your body, wake up your metabolism. So that's what I'm doing, yummy. I also wanted to show you guys this quickly, I forgot I bought it. This is the Ben & Jerry's Chocolate Fudge Brownie Non-Dairy Frozen Dessert uh, made with almond milk. So it was. Um, on sale two for nine so I bought one which was 450 and look I bought this yesterday afternoon I didn't even crave for it if I was on a like, regular eating lifestyle I would have finished this by yesterday night and I'm honestly not craving it so that I just bought for the day that I'm actually craving ice cream which I've yet to have anything sweet in 11 days and I'm not craving it this is the closest thing I've had to sweet these are the Publix gluten-free waffles um, with the blueberries so it's all Pretty much the ingredients are really clean it just contains um, soy so yeah so I'm literally in my pajama shirt right now um, I'm gonna make my first attempt of a smoothie I've yet to have one and I'm gonna try one today so I'm gonna have I'm gonna start it off with three bananas which is a little bit for the vegan community they throw in there like five six ten bananas I've seen I can't do that so I mean I wish I can but I can't <laughs> I get stuffed easily with all these fruits that's the awesomeness about vegan there's like no calorie count pretty much as long as you're eating fruits and grains and beans and stuff that are good for your body veggies something I need to up is my veggies I don't really like veggies I like avocados or um, green beans but not much like I'm not one for frozen veggies so I like to buy them fresh as so you guys can see the green beans so yeah those are the three bananas well right. I'm gonna throw some of this very you know I didn't even check if the smoke was open I'm gonna throw this um some milk I'm not even gonna measure it maybe I should measure it but I'm not I'm just gonna see I do how it looks so far. So I'm just gonna freehand this. This is my first that looks like enough. Yeah. I have it says 12 ounces, I think. I don't know. And then I'm gonna throw some spinach in there, some baby spinach just to get some greens in. Like I said, some baby spinach in there just to get my green intake higher. I don't like spinach to be honest on its own. That's pretty much it. Banana, milk, and spinach. Let's see how this comes out. I'm gonna whip it. show you guys that I'm not even halfway through this or maybe I am a little halfway it's just whipped up at the end and I'm stuffed this is my first ever vegan smoothie so yummy 
way better than any Herbalife shake I've ever had, ever. And it's so simple. And tomorrow I'm gonna add ice because it wasn't that cold, so I kind of had to put it in the fridge for a little bit. And I'm gonna add some chia seeds. I'm gonna see if I buy some today at work because I saw a lot of people add chia seeds to their um, smoothies. So yeah, um, so far I just have some marinara sauce and a bowl. I'm gonna heat that up because I only used half last time that I made pasta. I have the pasta boiling. And this is what it looks like so far. The condiments, or I don't know what it's called. The, the stuff that I'm gonna add to the pasta so it's not so plain. So yeah. Um, I work today at 11, 11 to eight. I have a super long day. Um, so I'm cooking now. I woke up early because I knew I wasn't gonna have time if I woke up late. And right before lunch, I'll probably have like a slice of um, bread with avocado. That will keep me full until my break. My break is like at four. It's at three, I think. It's at three to four. And then I work till eight, so yeah. Today's a pretty long day, so I'm gonna <clears throat> cook up everything. And then when I get off of work, I'm gonna come home, change, and go to the gym. I'm gonna try to remember to vlog my day besides eating. Or besides like what I eat. So yeah. I want to film a beauty video this Saturday. I'm gonna film. Hopefully, today's Monday, but Saturday I'm gonna be make time to film. Maybe Friday, cause Thursday and Friday I work like in late late afternoons. I go in like at three or four. Um, <clears throat> so maybe I'll get up like I'll film a tutorial or what I've been um, loving and stuff. So I haven't done like a fairy video in like three months. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a few. So I'm done making the pasta, super yummy. I'm gonna take this one to work, have my break, and this one's gonna be for tomorrow. So I only use half a box, because if not, I have leftovers, and by three days, I'm not done with it, I throw it out. So usually, I throw it out, because I can't only eat a whole box of pasta with myself. So yeah, I made half. So, super yummy, I tried some, and I cannot wait to have it for lunch today. Hey loves, just wanted to show you quickly, I made a avocado toast. I just toasted two slices of wheat bread, and smashed an avocado, added some lime juice, some salt and pepper, and that's pretty much it. Very simple and filling. I'm gonna tear this up before I get to work. So I just had a bite of this, and it literally tastes just like ice cream. Hey loves, I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast quickly. So I just have some organic blueberry waffles with some light syrup. I have one whole banana, four strawberries, and a handful of blackberries, and I'm gonna have some water. I already had um, my 12 ounces of water with half a lime on the way to dropping off my mom at work. So now I'm just gonna tear this up. Super yummy, super fitting, does not look healthy at all. It's actually really good. Hey loves, so I wanted to show you guys the products that I'm gonna be using today to make my vegan fajitas. So I just bought this um, pack of fajitas, La Banderita Fajita Flour Tortillas. It comes with 10. It was the cheapest one at Publix, two bucks. I bought um, these vegetarian refried beans, which is sort of gonna be like my um, meat substitute. So just um, to just make it feel like I have meat in my fajitas, you know? Um, I bought this frozen recipe ready tricolor pepper and onion blend. It has red, yellow, green peppers and onions. And it says it's great for fajitas. It was about $3. And I just bought that instead of having to actually cut up the peppers and stuff. Because I'm new to cooking. I don't even... I've never even used peppers in any of my meals that I used to cook before being vegan. So I really wouldn't know how to cut them. And it's just way easier. So yeah, it's time saving. I bought an avocado. This one's already maduro. Meaning that you can eat it today. When they're really black and soft is when they're ready. And then I have some cilantro because I love cilantro in all of my food so I'm gonna show you guys the process of um, how I'm gonna make everything so first I'm gonna start off with um, heating up these two things on a pan and a pot and then I'm gonna work on mine and I also need a lime to season my avocado with I'm gonna put the cilantro and the avocado together with lime and then I need to heat up my tortillas so I'll just show you guys the process so I threw the peppers my onions mix in a um, pan with some olive oil so I'm heating those up and then I just threw the and I just threw the refried beans that don't look very exciting to me right now in a saucepan and I'm gonna leave it there for like about 10 minutes. Alrighty, so I'm gonna try my first vegetarian fajita. Let's see how I like it. Wow. 
so yummy. Mm. So good. Oh my God, it doesn't even taste vegan. I just wanted to talk to you guys quickly before I get to work. Um, so yeah, I did have the fajitas today for lunch and I'm still stuffed. I only ended up having three. Um, I was stuffed by the third one. But um, ever since I've been vegan for the last 13 days, I've yet to feel full the way that I felt today. So that was one of the most filling meals I've had. Um, so yeah, I kind of don't want to eat anything too heavy on my break. My break is at four. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna have the smoothie that I had yesterday for breakfast. Um, since it was filling. So I'm just gonna have that and then I get off from work like at 8.30 and I'm gonna go to the gym afterwards. Good morning girls, so I'm making my morning smoothie. I just came back from the gym having um, spinach, soy milk, banana soy milk, and three bananas and two ice cubes. Super yummy. Right now it's May 19th, it's about 11.53. I woke up really late. I mean, I woke up early to take my mom and go to the gym. I came back home, showered, and went to sleep. Um, so yeah, I got a really late start to my morning because I didn't eat anything. I just had like a bottle of water at the gym. I had two oranges and then now I'm eating my organic blueberry waffles with a little bit of syrup. And this morning I weighed myself like <clears throat> right after I woke up recently and I'm officially 162 so I started April 28th um, I was 167 and today's May 19th I am 162 so five pounds it's taken a little while but I don't care I've lost five pounds in such a way that I can't even explain like I can I, I don't feel like I'm on a diet I don't feel like I'm limited I don't feel like I can't you know I just, I'm never hungry guys, like I'm always eating, I can eat, I can eat fruits and veggies, so I'm super happy. Um, I don't think I consider myself a vegan because I've been doing like still every day all I watch is vegan vi videos, like go to, going, eh, transitioning to a vegan and all those type of videos, um, just because I want to knowledge myself. And being a vegan is not only thinking about yourself from what I've heard, it's about the entire aspect of it which is the animals, the earth, you know, um, mainly the animals and being vegan is a lifestyle, meaning you can't use any like makeup that's tested on animals, um, that goes for shower products, you know, um, perfumes, handbags and stuff. So I still have all of my makeup, I still have all of my handbags, I still have all of my toiletries, I used to be a couponer, so I have a stockpile of shampoos and conditioners and body washes that all those brands did test on animals, but from now on, I won't be buying anything else that is tested on animals. I know a lot of brands from Sephora are cruelty free. Kat Von D is one of them. 
So yeah, I'm not 100% vegan because of my lifestyle aspect, but I am eating plant-based. So yeah, I don't want to get um, myself confused and I've been telling everybody that I'm going vegan, but technically I'm going plant-based, pretty much. Whatever, I'm having my um, 32 ounces of water, which I have every morning. I cut up a lime and then I have like half a cucumber in there. It just tastes super yummy. I let that sit for like a day in there. Um, and yeah, I've lost five pounds in less than a month. A lot of people can't say that. I mean, when I was on Herbalife, I lost, I think it was like 15 pounds the first month, but it was super unhealthy. Not in a healthy way. It was in a way where I starved myself, where I wasn't satisfied with what I was eating and stuff, you know? Um, if you want to do Herbalife, go for it. If you want to diet, go for it. But this is my lifestyle and I'm loving it. And I've been seeing a lot of changes. So yeah, I'm super happy. I just wanted to come out here quickly and talk to you guys about that. Um, for lunch, I'm going to be making a um, black bean burger. I don't, I t look, I have the pack of black bean burgers, which I'm going to show you guys later. I was supposed to go out and buy the ingredients because I wanted to do it with like a regular um, burger bun, whole wheat burger bun. But I have regular whole wheat bread here, so I'm not going to go out and just buy bread. And I wanted to buy red onions as well, but I have white onion here. So I'm just going to do it um, with the food that I have at home because honestly, I spend so much money on groceries since I'm vegan. I always buy everything fresh, so... Yeah, I'm going to finish up these waffles and I wanted to give you guys a quick update on how my diet is going. I'm going to make sure to keep vlogging more because I haven't vlogged in a couple days. And yeah, be more consistent with it. Hey my loves, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm going to be eating for lunch today. So I bought this pack of Morning Star Farms burgers. They're the spicy, ble spicy black bean burgers. They have 10 grams of protein. So people wonder where I get my protein from. Yeah. Pretty much everything I eat has protein. And then I know this is not the healthiest because it's packaged, but you know what? Um, I have them, so I'm gonna um, use them and eat them up, but I will never buy them again because they're processed. And all these packaged stuff, like, um, I just prefer having, I'm gonna bake these, so I might as well bake regular potatoes, right? But since I have them, I'm gonna eat them. But since they're all processed and stuff, it pretty much takes away all the vitamins and all the good that's in potatoes. So yeah, I don't recommend these, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm eating, um, what I'm gonna eat today since I'm kind of in a rush. And yeah, I'm gonna bake these, both things. In so the I've just put it on a baking pan and I put aluminum foil. And yeah, these are what the potatoes look like. And I have two of the burgers. I'm making two just in case I'm still hungry after one. If anything, I'll just pack it up for tomorrow. And I made a lot of potatoes so that way I can have um, leftovers since I don't like to use the oven all that often. I might as well cook a lot for, you know, another day. So yeah. So I'm just sauteing some mushrooms so I can add it on my um, black bean burgers. I wanted to originally do an avocado black bean burger, but I don't have any avocado. So I'm just going to saute some mushrooms. I cut, I cut up. I cut up some pieces of onion, white onion, and some iceberg lettuce, and then I'm going to probably put some ketchup or something. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Um, I actually didn't have wheat bread, I had honey wheat. Um, so I have the burger, the lettuce, some mushrooms, the onions, I put some ketchup, I have some water, and I'm currently watching Beauty by Rosito's, um, Beauty by Rosito Apple Bum, her vlog. And yeah, I just have my 30 pounds of water. This is my third one so far today. I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go get ready for work. So don't mind me and my parents. Once again, I just woke up. I'm currently babysitting my niece. Mia, come say hi. Come say hi. Come. Come, so be shy. Ben gorda. Miren. Whatever, she's being kind of shy. But she usually isn't. Come over here and say hi. Come. Come. Oh my god. Look at my baby girl. Say hi. Hi. How old are you? So yeah. <clears throat> I just woke up like about an hour ago. My baby needs slept over. I'm having my 32 ounce smoothie. It was filled to the top. Super filling. and I'm full and it's only halfway done. But yeah. Um, my bananas were getting old so I kind of wanted to use that up instead of having like waffles or oatmeal or something but yeah i'm currently responding to comments on my latest video which is the work day get ready with me full face talk through um i didn't get a lot of views which I'm, i don't really care i got like 200 views and i usually get like 400 or 500 on my videos 
which is fine. I guess you guys weren't interested in seeing that. Um, but yeah, a lot of you girls are requesting long vlogs, so I'm just gonna film my vlogs longer. Oh so, yeah, yesterday I weighed myself and I am now 161.0. Remember, I started at 167 point something. So yeah, um, super happy. I'm about to make one month on being vegan and six pounds isn't bad once again for eating whatever I want to eat and working out consistently. I work out Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday I just relax and I don't work out or I don't work anymore. I don't work weekends. So I have time to film and upload and reply to comments and stuff because I want to dedicate myself to you guys. Girls, guys. I know guys hate when I say girls because I have guy viewers as well. So guys, as in everyone. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, my pimples are clearing up. I broke out massively. I think it's because I was like overdoing it on the soy. So I'm just cutting back on it and I'm trying to um, incorporate way more fruits and veggies. Now, they're already like disappearing but they were super bad guys. I went out Friday night um, to a bar and I went out clubbing and I just felt so self-conscious because my pimples were literally like... I put on makeup but I feel like you can still see like the texture, like the bump of it. And I hate having pimples, so I make sure to wash my face. I make sure to wash my face every morning and night. So yeah, I'm gonna finish replying to comments. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna shower my knees, and we're gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna see what we're gonna do. I didn't do absolutely anything yesterday. I went to my best friend's house, and then the day before, Friday night, I went out um, clubbing with her. We had like a blast. Um, so yeah, I stayed in yesterday because I didn't want to go out like two days in a row. It's too much for me. <laughs> I do myself to like once a week, once every other week. Hey girls, so I wanted to show you guys my lunch that I cooked up quickly, or it didn't cook because nothing's cooked here. I used a whole avocado, about half a cucumber, a whole baby tomato, um, some red onion, salt and pepper, oil, a little bit of oil and vinegar, and that's it. And it was so yummy guys, so filling, filled with yumminess and healthy food. I'm going to be stuffed after this, I know it. <clears throat> Hello, so I just wanted to show you guys my breakfast quickly. I just have some... Um, raw organic oats and I just put water. I didn't want to milk, um, use soy milk because I heard that a lot of soy milk is not so good for you. So I'm just going to have it in my smoothies and not in my oatmeal as well. And then I'm having a fruit bowl which consists of four strawberries and an orange. I love oranges. And I'm just having my 32 ounces of water and this is my dog's treat. Buddy here. Go ahead, buddy. Good boy. And I'm currently watching, um, I'm currently watching my friend's uh, makeup tutorial. Her name is SB Lux Makeup. She's beautiful, guys. She's really talented. You should definitely check her out. Look at that makeup, though. Gorgeous. So, yeah, I'm going to tear my food up, watch her video, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Okay, girls. So, today I'm going to um, recreate the vegan stir fry that my sister made for me about a week ago. And I kind of um, set out everything that I'm going to be using. So, I had to buy some stuff just because I didn't have it. But, um, yeah, I bought some sesame seeds. I bought some less sodium soy sauce. I already had soy sauce, but it wasn't less sodium, so I just bought that one. Publix brand, if you guys have a Publix. Um, I would buy Publix brand, they're cheaper. I bought a bag of broccoli florets. They're fresh. It's about 14 ounces. I'm going to cut them up a little bit smaller. Wash those. I have some green beans. So I'm going to throw those in there. I'm going to wash them and cut them up. And I still have some leftover of this fajita mix. So I'm just going to throw the peppers and onions in there. Um, I'm going to throw this whole thing of onions. I mean mushroom, sorry. Um, I had baby carrots um, already, like snack size, so I'm not gonna buy them if I already have them. I'm gonna cut those up, throw them in there as well, and that's pretty much it. So I'll show you guys how it looks like um, as I go.
this is what my breakfast is looking like for this morning. I just have some blueberry organic waffles. They're made out of brown rice. I'm gonna show you guys the box really quickly. So this is what they look like. They're super yummy. I used to use the Publix brand, but these were buy one on free this week. So I just bought these and super good. I have some vegan non-dairy um, butter, a little bit of light maple syrup, which is super unhealthy, but once I finish it up, I'm gonna get me some like agave. And then I just um, decided to do a mix of this. Um, I usually put cucumber and lime, but um, these berries were getting old, so I thought I would throw them in there, um, and maybe it would taste good, I've yet to taste it. And then I'm, if I'm still hungry, I'm gonna have two tangerines, plus they're getting a little old, so I kinda need to eat them up. And I'm currently watching Juicy Jazz's um, What I Eat in a Day. She's actually vegan since April, so I'm super excited about that. I hope she uploads more videos about vegan meals and stuff, but um, I'm definitely gonna try out her soup recipe. I definitely recommend you guys to check her out. This is her YouTube name. She's really, really talented, and she knows what she's doing. She's very consistent with her videos, and yeah, I'm a long-time subscriber of her. I love her, so check her out. And yeah, I'm gonna tear this up, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit.